Hello, welcome to Revelator Alpha Bikers Life Less Ordinary. So in this video, I'm really talking about using a webcam and also how to get the audio and video to sync up so there's no lag when you're using OBS, especially on a Mac. So let's go to the uh, screen and I'll show you exactly what I mean. Revelator Alpha. Okay, so we're in OBS right now and I'm in display capture. So uh, on one of my other feeds, I've also got uh, the webcam already set up as well. So if I transition that now, basically what you're seeing is the actual screen itself. Now sometimes when you make a video, or a lot of the time, you'll have your video rate and then you'll have your audio rate as well. So if you go down to the settings here, and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. You'll see all the general settings, you'll see your stream info, and a lot of videos that you watch already talk about this changing the audio, uh, changing all the settings here changing the bit rate from two and a half thousand to up to 35 forty thousand down to 500 whatever it is okay so what you need to do is first of all don't touch a thing don't change anything on your audio settings or your video settings okay keep it at the same 1280 by 720 for now and see how that quality works out for you and at 30 frames per second. Remember, in the US, it's 24 frames per second is, is broadcast um, quality, and in the UK, it's uh, 25 frames per second. So 30 frames per second is absolutely fine. So actually, what you want to do is come out, and wherever your microphone is, you'll see this little uh, gear icon here. So you just click on that, and you go to Advanced Audio Properties. So on whichever mic you're using, okay, this is where it says sync offset microseconds, and this is where you have to play around. So let's say your audio comes in before your video. If your audio comes in before your video, you need to offset it by however many milliseconds. Now, this is just a trial and error until you find out exactly what it is. It could be 300, 400, 500. Start off at about 100, then go to 200 and see how that works. So then what you need to do is just record it down here. Start your recording and then record it and see how that works out for you. Then if the, if the audio is still ahead of the video, then just increase that number, that millisecond number, so on and so forth, until it actually syncs up. That's when the audio is ahead of the video. Now, so if your video is ahead of your audio for whatever reason, you need to go to your video capture device here, and then right click and go to filters. You see on the top left hand side here it says video delay async. So what you need to do is just press that and press the plus sign and then right at the bottom it says video delay async. That's what I've already put in there. Then you just increase the time delay by whatever you think it is. It could be 300, 400, 1000 milliseconds, whatever it is. You just have to play around with it until it all syncs up. So that's what you would do. So let's say you put 500 and away you go. Then you close it. And then again, you record uh, a test piece just to see if you're, if it's working out for you. If the milliseconds that you've offset, whether for the video or for the audio, is working out for you. And that's essentially what you do. Now, let's go back to the settings. And I'll show you exactly what I mean here about the settings. You can change the bit rate, let's say just for recording purposes only. This is an advanced setting, by the way. You can change the bit rate, and that bit rate will capture uh, more data, basically, and it should give you a better video image. So you can go up to 5,000, 10,000, whatever you want, really. But bear in mind, if you do that, then what's that's going to happen? That's going to use up a whole load of memory on your computer as well. 
and your and your computer is going to be working quite hard just to gather that information. If you're streaming, okay, streaming anything more than two and a half thousand, it really depends on your internet speed. If you've got a really high broadband speed, it might be able to handle a little bit more. But if it hasn't, then you're going to really struggle. What you want to do is whatever your upload speed on your local internet speed is, you want to kind of go half to three quarters of that. Okay, so this is uh, two and a half meg here, this would say. So if you've got four meg, let's say, then you go about two and a half, three thousand, something like that. Sometimes you have to come even low because you've got a really poor internet connection, whatever it is. So that's just for streaming. For recording, okay, you can go up to two and a half thousand, three thousand, four thousand, whatever. Um, it really depends. But then, if you start changing the bit rate, you may have to start changing the um, the millisecond uh, offset for video or for audio. It really depends. You're going to have to start playing around with the settings again. The other thing you have to bear in mind is the video setting here now you can play around with the uh, frames per second values you can either go up or go down but let's say if you go higher than 30 frames per second a lot of people think that's definitely going to give you better uh, visual better video not necessarily i mean again it really depends if you're streaming or you're recording if you're streaming you're heavily reliant on the internet connection and that will determine how much data is being transferred and how much of that video quality you're going to get through uh, so if you've got a really poor connection you may struggle with any higher uh, frames per second so you might have to go down to 20 frames per second something like that but you might get a blurry image at the same time if you come high, then your internet speed might not be able to handle it. If you're recording, then just because you're recording at higher frames per second doesn't necessarily mean you'll get a better image. Uh, but what do we normally? We normally increase frames per second so we can reduce we can slow down uh, images, uh, video if you want to on, on post editing so that we can um, so with that we, st we don't lose any quality and that's the problem we're not really doing that for recording live streams and that kind of thing so you know I would say just keep it at, frame at 30 and just be done with it same with the output just keep it at 2500 first of all and just see how it goes both streaming and recording just see how it goes and then take it from there that's in the advanced settings. You can just go to the simple settings and just go to the bulk standard and uh, leave it there as well. So video settings, keep the same. Audio settings, whatever might be using. And then the output settings, keep it exactly the same as well. So we just do that, okay it. So basically what you've got to do is just look at, first of all, if you're streaming or you're recording. If you're streaming, then you've got to look at your internet speed, first of all. And then you've got to make a judgment about three quarters of whatever your internet speed is. That's your maximum bit rate. And it, you might not be able to get away from the fact that you're going to have a blurry image or this kind of image that kind of jutters across the screen as well. So that's choosing your bit rate. Don't go too high, that it's too high for this internet speed, or that whatever your computer, your CPU can handle as well. That's a big issue as well. Okay, so keep your bit rate standard, two and a half, uh, 2,500 for now, and then see how it goes. If you're having issues with marrying up the audio and video, then what you need to do is just offset the audio or the video, as I said before, and that will be the, the best test. And then it's a matter of fine tuning. There isn't one answer, I'm afraid, uh, especially on Macs. Windows seems to be handled a lot better, but Macs, it doesn't matter what Mac you're using, sometimes they can have an issue. Mine definitely has an issue, and that's why I'm constantly playing with it on a daily basis. Before you record, always do a test recording or always do a test stream, and then that will give you an idea of what your settings should be for that particular day. Right, I hope this uh, was helpful at least, and I hope it answered a few of the questions. But as I say, there are lots of videos out there that just say change the bitrate, change the FPS, 
it doesn't always work. In fact, in my case, it didn't work at all. What it was was a combination of playing with the uh, the bit rate and the FPS a little bit, uh, but mostly it was about offsetting the, the audio and video syncing. Okay, hope you found this useful. Catch you on the next video. Cheers. Revelator L.